Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. This is just a very quick video of myself going through the sun salutations or Surya Namaskar A and Surya Namaskar B. As I say in this video, there are nine vinyasas in Surya Namaskar A and there are 17 vinyasas in Surya Namaskar B. I count the vinyasas in Sanskrit. In this video, I have also done a more modified variation of the sun salutations in the fact that I am not going to be jumping in this video, jumping into Chaturanga or jumping forward from the downward facing dog position. I know that a lot of yoga teachers out there will put up videos that is it's more like a demonstration well they'll do the full extent of the transition so for myself i thought for you guys since i've gotten so many people asking about modifications and variations that i would show you how to properly step back and step forward i also want to comment on chaturanga if your chaturanga is weak lowering all I want you to do is just hold the plank and then move into upward facing dog from the plank position. Remember that these, these, these things take time to a whole life practice. You're not going to learn to do it smoothly in one day. It's going to take a lot of, of falling and slipping and being messy on your mat before things start to come together and the body starts to find its own alignment in this transition. Once again, I want to remind everybody, sun salutations do not mean sun worship. The prana, or the upward moving energy of the body, is shown by the symbol of the sun. Just as the apana, or the downward flowing energy of the body, is shown by the symbol of the moon. Surya Namaskar, the sun, Namaskar, so salutations, that's a greeting. So what you're doing in the sun salutations is you are warming your body up, basically. You are creating heat in the body. You are waking your prana up. You are creating sweat, okay? And so that is all you are doing. And so something I tell my students all the time is when you are in this practice, don't try to rush through it and really be present with each posture, Really feel where your body is waking up. Where is the blood flowing? Okay, good luck. And if you have any more questions, please ask me down in the comment section below. Good morning, everybody. It is about five o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, December. I believe it's the sixth today. I'm going to be doing Surya Namaskar A and Surya Namaskar B. But before I ever start my sun salutations, as I've told you guys before, I always do a little bit of warm up. I bring my right foot forward, lining my knee and my ankle in one straight line and dropping the hips. This causes like a sizzling sensation in the left hip flexor to open up the lower back. Here I'm going into a half Hanumanasana. A little bit later in the practice, I'll do a full Hanumanasana, which is a split posture. This is just to start to wake up the hamstring as well as my stomach, pulling my stomach in. As you can see, my right extended foot is always flexed. That is because we do not want to passively stretch. When we passively stretch, we get injured. And so by flexing, we're activating into the right big, big toe, which is bringing an activation up the inner thigh. Now I've changed sides with the left leg leading. The knee and the ankle are, of course, in an alignment as I'm dropping down into the right hip, again, creating that sizzling sensation now in the right hip flexor. That's what a back bend is, basically. It's opening that hip flexor and that psoas muscle. And now I'm stretching into the left leg, flexing my left foot. So look at my right left toe. It's flexed. And so into my inner thigh and up into my perineum is now being activated, which is super important for mullabunda. Even though mullabunda is found in your perineum or your crotch, it is activated by the big toe and in the inner thigh. And now I think I'm just going to push back into a down dog, just my first down dog of the practice just to wake things up. Pressing into my hands. I'm not hot and sweaty yet. I will be. Trust me, by the end of this, I will be hot and sweaty. So I'm just starting to let that lymphatic system flow and activate, get the blood flow. Now in these sun salutations, I am going to do them modified, which I said in the beginning. So I'm going to be opting to step 
forwards and backwards and not jump just so you can see what that look like. Take and inhale, my arms are up, our eyes to my thumbs. Dwe, exhale, I'm forward folding, hands by my feet. Trini, inhale, I'm gonna lift my head up, lengthen my spine. And then Chatwadi, exhale, I'm gonna step back to plank position, very slowly, very controlled. And then lower Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, up dog, dropping my head back, looking at my nose. And then shot, exhale, I'm gonna tuck my toes under into downward facing dog. So once again, in this demonstration, I am not going to be jumping forwards and backwards. Most people on YouTube will do the full jump for the demonstration, but because we have a lot of beginners here, I'm showing you a variation of how to do this without jumping. Rome was not built in a day. Do not compare somebody's chapter 10 to your chapter one. Be, be here now. It's one of Ram Dass's books. Be content where you are. Of course, Downward Dog and Siri Namaskar A is held for five breaths. And then sup to inhale, I'm gonna come forward again with my head up, stepping forward. And then ash dow, exhale, I'm going to fold. Nava, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. And then exhale, hands by my side, back to point zero, position Sama CT. So again, nine vinyasas in Suri Namaskar A. Ekam, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, first vinyasa. Dwe, exhale, forward fold, hands by my feet, second vinyasa. Trini, inhale, head up, lengthening my spine, third vinyasa. Chatwadi, exhale, stepping back to plank, lowering down, fourth vinyasa. Pancha, inhale, up dog, fifth vinyasa. Shut, exhale, I'm coming into downward facing dog, sixth vinyasa. Here I am for five breaths. So while I'm in here, as you can see, I woke, walked my feet in a little bit. That's traditional for traditional yoga. The downward facing dog is going to be a little bit more narrow. That's because I'm warming up my serratus interior in my upper back for the jump backs and jump back and jump throughs to come. Pressing into my feet, pressing into my heels, pressing into my fingers, pushing the floor away from me, protracting my shoulders, pulling my belly in, tucking my chin and looking towards the navel. And then Supta, inhale, I'm coming forward with my head up, lengthen the spine. Ash, Dao, exhale, forward fold. Nava, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, looking towards my thumbs. Exhale, hands by my side, back to point zero position, Samus Titihi. Ekam, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, first vinyasa. Dwe, exhale, forward fold, second vinyasa. Trini, inhale, head up, lengthen my spine, third vinyasa. Chatwadi, exhale, jumper, step back, lower down, fourth vinyasa. Pancha, inhale, upward facing dog, fifth vinyasa. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog, sixth vinyasa. So something too, when you're going through Siri Namaskar A, don't, do not rush the postures. Yes, most of the postures are done on either an exhale or an inhale, but do not rush in through the postures. Don't merge the postures together as one. Make them definite with an end point and beginning point postures. And then sup to inhale, coming forward, head up. Lengthen the spine, ash, now exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Exhale, Sama Sitihi. So if you're following along with me, Akam, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Dway, exhale, forward fold, hands by your feet. Trini, inhale, head up, lengthen your spine, pull your belly in. Chat, twadi, exhale, jump or step back. Step back if you're beginning, lower down. Pancha, inhale, up dog, take the back bend, look at your nose. Shot, exhale, downward facing dog. You are here for five breaths. Once again, as I tell my classes all the time, downward facing dog is a variation of a handstand. You can't learn how to do a handstand correctly until you learn how to do downward facing dog correctly. So press into your hands, press through your arms, lengthen your arms, protract away from the mat, press into your heels. Even if your heels do not touch the mat, keep pressing down through the heels, inner thighs are active, belly is in, chin is tucked in looking towards the navel. And then Supta, inhale, come forward, jump or step forward, head up. Ash, thou exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Exhale, Samasitihi. Ekam, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, hands together. Dwe, exhale, forward, fold, hands by your feet. Trini, inhale, head up, lengthen your spine. Chatwadi, exhale, jump or step back, lower down. 
Pancha, inhale, up dog. Shut, exhale, down dog. Once again, five breaths here. Now, Surya Namaskar A, that has nine vinyasas that we start with, is the masculine energy. It's a very linear movement forwards and backwards. But when we get into Surya Namaskar B, that's next, we're going to get into the feminine energy, the reciprocal energy, the energy that moves in cycles, where we get deeper into the movement of the hips, which is then going to bring us into more of a deeper understanding of Mola Bandha. And of course, both men and women carry both energies. Sup to inhale, come forward, head up. Lengthen your spine. Ash Dao, exhale, fold. Nava, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Look towards your thumbs. Exhale, hands by your side. Samasitihi, point zero position. Surya Namaskar B, three times. Nine vinyasas in Surya Namaskar A, 17 in Surya Namaskar B. Akam, inhale, bend your knees. Arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Keep your legs together. Dway, exhale, take a forward fold. Trini, inhale, head up, lengthen your spine. Chatwadi, exhale, jump or step back, lower down. Pancha, inhale, upward facing dog. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog. Now, Supta, inhale, step the right foot forward. Back heel grounds down, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Varavadrasana A, digging into the hips. Ash, thou, exhale, hands to the mat, step back and lower. Nava, inhale, up dog. Dasha, exhale, down dog. A kata shine hill left foot forward right heel grounds down arms up eyes to the thumbs. Dwadasha exhale hands to the mat step back and lower. Trayodasha inhale up dog. Chitodasha exhale down dog once again five breaths here so in Surya Namaskar B, the third downward facing dog is the one that you hold for five breaths press into the floor. You should be nice and warm and starting to get sweaty now. See if you can feel the blood pumping through your ribs, pumping through your hamstrings, down through your legs, through your hands. The surya, the prana, the life force within you is being woken up by this movement, by making these shapes, by drawing these lines with your body. And then panchadasha, inhale, come forward, head up. Shodasha, exhale, fold. Subdidasha, bend your knees, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Exhale, Samasitihi, two more times. Ekam, inhale, bend your knees, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. First vinyasa, Dwe, exhale, forward, fold. Second vinyasa. Trini, inhale, head up, lengthen the spine. Third vinyasa. Chatwadi, exhale, jump or step back, lower down. Fourth vinyasa. Pancha, inhale, up dog. Fifth vinyasa. Shut, exhale, down dog. Sixth vinyasa. Supta, inhale, right foot forward, back heel grounds down, seventh vinyasa. Ashtau, exhale, lower, eighth vinyasa. Nava, inhale, up dog, ninth vinyasa. Dasha, exhale, down dog, tenth vinyasa. Ekadasha, left foot forward, right heel grounds down, arms up, eyes to the thumbs, eleventh vinyasa. Dwadasha, exhale, hands to the mat, step back and lower, twelfth vinyasa. Trayodasha, inhale, up dog. 13th vinyasa, chatodasha, exhale, down dog, 14th vinyasa, five breaths here. Once again, this is not a resting posture. You are 100% active in this posture belly. This is the best posture to find your bandhas. Pull the belly in. The belly goes back towards the spine and up towards the solar plexus as the perineum, the crotch, pulls up as well. Inner thighs are active. And here we go. Panchadasha, inhale, come forward, head up, 15th vinyasa. Shodasha, exhale, fold, 16th vinyasa. Subdidasha, bend your knees, arms up, eyes to the thumb, 17th vinyasa, exhale, samasitihi. One more time, point zero position in samasitihi, agam, inhale, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Dwe, exhale, forward, fold. Trini, inhale, head up, lengthen the spine. Jatwadi, exhale, jump or step back, lower down. Bancha, inhale, upward facing dog. Shut, exhale, downward facing dog. Supta, inhale, right foot forward. Back heel grounds down, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Ash, thou, exhale, fold, or lower down rather. Nava, inhale, up dog. Dash, I exhale, down dog. Ekadasha, inhale, left foot forward, right heel grounds down, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Dwadasha, I exhale, hands to the mat, step back and lower. Trayodasha, inhale, up dog. Chitodasha, exhale, down dog. Five breaths here. Press into your fingertips. Push the floor away from you. 
this is the last time for this Ashtanga practice that you are in downward dog for five breaths. So really pull in the juice here, plug up through the floor, pull the energy up through the palms and through the soles of the feet, activating the stomach, the shoulders, the hamstrings, the inner thighs. And then pancha to shot, inhale, come forward, head up. Show to shot, exhale, fold again. Sup to desha, bend your knees, arms up, eyes to the thumbs. Exhale, hands by your side, samasitihi, point zero position.